but in this video i really want to focus on how to set up code llama with open interpreter if you have access to gpt plus you probably have seen code interpreter which is now called advanced data analysis with the help of this you can simply upload files to gpt4 and analyze those files but there is a new open source project called open interpreter that basically lets you run code interpreter from your own local terminal it's open source and completely free to use you don't have to be a paying member of gpt plus now it does use gpt4 so you'll have to pay for gpt4 api but the great thing is it has support for code llama which is an open source model and i'll show you how to use code llama with open interpreter in this video we are going to be setting this up on a mac machine but the steps will remain the same for all different operating systems okay so first we need to set up a new uh, conda environment so i'm going to use conda create then dash n and then we need to define the python version so i like to use python 3.10.0 so this will basically set up a new uh, conda environment for us okay so i'm going to just hit enter that will install all the required packages so our uh, conda environment is set up now we need to activate this so in order to activate the virtual environment i'm going to simply copy this and then paste it here hit enter that will activate the virtual environment next we need to install open interpreter so for that we're going to go back uh, to the github repo simply copy this command let me just clear up everything and we're going to just paste the command that we copied so this will install open interpreter on our local machine okay so the installation process is complete i'll simply clear everything now in order to run open interpreter you simply need to type interpreter and that will uh, basically in initiate the inter interpreter so you have two different options First is to use GPT-4, which is recommended, but you need to provide the OpenAI API key. The second option is to use Code Llama. It's free, but it's less capable. So later in the video, I'm going to show you how to set this up as well. Now, first we need to uh, provide our OpenAI API key. So I'm going to paste my OpenAI API key. So here it is. And uh, I will remove this right after this video, but you sim can simply hit enter. So it tells you, that you can actually use this export command to set the OpenAI API key environment variable. If you want to do this on Linux or Mac, so you're going to use export command. If you want to set the OpenAI API key variable on your Windows, then you need to use set X command. Now, since it runs Python code, just like the code interpreter on GPT-4, so every time you run this, it will actually ask you for approval before running the code but you can uh, bypass this behavior by using hyphen y uh, with the initial command so that in that case it will automatically execute all the codes now if you want to run this with code llama you will use uh, interpreter hyphen hyphen local and that will uh, use code llama we're going to look at this uh, later in the video now to see whether this works or not i'm going to uh, run a very simple test analyze uh, this file and then i'll simply drag a file so when you drag a file to your terminal it will simply put a uh, path of that file in here automatically so if we simply hit enter it starts analyzing the file so it says uh, sure i can help you with that and it also defines uh, the steps that it is going to execute so it says that read the content of the file analyze the content of the files and as i said before so it will come up with the Python code, but then it waits for you uh, to let it run the code. So we are going to type Y and it will start executing that code. So then it says that it appears to be a Python uh, script. So it's actually pretty smart. Now again, it's writing some more uh, Python code in order to do further analysis. So if I hit enter, then it goes on to say uh, that, okay, so there are different components. So for example, there's logging, there's a click, torch, the, I'm using AutoGPTQ in there, uh, downloading files using Hugging uh, Face Hub, right? So it's able to analyze everything, just like Code Interpreter in GPT-4. So if there's interest, I will create a subsequent video where we will look at some more applications. But in this video, I really want to focus on how to set up Code Llama 
with open interpreter now for that i'm going to exit uh, the current session now in order to use code llama you can do it in two ways you can type in dash dash local uh, and hit enter and then it, it lets you directly select which model you want to use or the other way that you can uh, do it is you can simply use the same command so for example i'm going to use the interpreter command then it loads and uh, if you simply hit enter without providing the OpenAI api key then it will go and start uh, using uh, code llama now here you have three different options so uh, it has 7b 13b and 34b so for the sake of this video we are going to install uh, the smallest model which is also the least capable one right so if you simply click the arrow keys you can uh, change the selection so let's start with 7b so i'm gonna hit enter and then uh, even for the 7b there are i think different quantization level it is like low medium high and uh, the higher one has the highest requirement in terms of both the size as well as ram usage so let's select the medium one hit enter then it asks us do you want to use gpu since i'm running this on uh, my macbook so mac has macbook has an internal gpu and i want to use this so i'm going to uh, type y then it says uh, code llama inference package not found install llama cpp python uh, so we're going to type y so this is the uh, issue probably you will also run into it was not able to install llama cpp but we can do this manually so the way we're going to do it is we're going to end the session again okay then we'll go to this website where we're going to be using this command to manually install llama cpp so i'm going to put the command that you need to use both for linux as well as for mac os uh, in the description of the video okay so we are back to the terminal i'm gonna paste that command let's run that command so this will basically manually download llama cpp uh, with gpu support for um, apple silicon okay so the installation is complete i'm going to clear everything again okay so after installing llama cpp let's run this again and this time i'm not going to provide the openai api key so we will just hit enter it says switching to code llama and now it's asking us which model we want to use so i'm going to go with the 34 billion model this time and actually let's use the high model this time so again uh, is checking whether we want to use the gpu then uh, this instance of code llama is was not found would you like to download it so i'm going to hit enter again and it starts downloading the file now based on the ram usage this seems to be downloading the 8-bit version of code llama 34 billion model now this is going to take some time so i'm going to be back after the download is complete but one thing to keep in mind is the even though it's a 34 billion model it's not as capable as gpt4 so the responses that you get will not be as good as gpt4 okay so the installation is complete and now we're using code llama instead of gpt4 so now we'll use the same command that we used with open interpreter when we were using gpt4 so analyze the content of this file and we provide our python file and after that you simply hit enter okay so it seems to be working with code llama so i got a response back uh, for smaller models 7b and 13b it wasn't really working but in this case it identifies that it's a python script that uses local gpd models to generate text based on a prompt now it was able to identify some of the functions that i'm using within the code so for example torch transformers uh, but it added this function generate text which is actually not present in the actual code now for some reason it repeated itself again now in order to see whether it was actually reading the file or not so i asked it what are different uh, functions that are defined within the file so it uh, correctly identified there is a main function there is a load model function that loads a gpt model however uh, it also says there is a generate text function and uh, parse arguments which are actually not present within the file uh, but in general it seems to be working uh, probably it will need better prompting we also need to look at uh, the internal commands that are used 
Uh, so probably I will have a much deeper dive into the code of the open interpreter to see what can be improved. But overall, uh, at least it works with code Lama. So that is a great news for the open source community. So my final thoughts, it's an absolutely amazing project and that's why it's actually trending right now on GitHub, which is absolutely great. Now you can do a lot with the interpreter. If there is interest, I will make subsequent videos uh, showing different applications, for example, how to control your computer using open interpreter. If you found the video useful, consider liking the video and subscribe to the channel. In order to support the channel, you can check out my Patreon link is in the description of the video. Thanks for watching and as always, see you in the next one.